Blaming others for your problems is a complete waste of time. When you do that, you don't learn anything. You can't grow and you can't mature. Thus, you can't make your life better. In my three decades as a professor and clinical psychologist, I have learned that there are two fundamental attitudes toward life and its sorrows. Those with the first attitude blame the world. Those with the second ask what they could do differently. Imagine a couple on the brink of divorce. They're hurt and angry. The unhappy, bitter husband recalls the terrible things his wife has done and the reasons he can no longer live with her. The harried and disillusioned wife, in turn, can describe all the ways her husband let her down. Each has a long list of necessary changes for the other person. Their prospects for reconciliation are grim. Why? Because other people aren't the problem. You're the problem. You can't change other people, but you can change yourself. But it's difficult. It takes courage to change, and it takes discipline. It's much easier and much more gratifying to your basest desires to blame someone else for your misery. Consider the youthful activist making a statement against the corrupt capitalist system by smashing in the storefront of a local business. What has he done other than to bring harm to people who have nothing to do with his real problems? The guilt, doubt, and shame he will inevitably feel in consequence will have to be suppressed so his beliefs can remain unchanged. And that suppression will do nothing but foster his anger and If the answer is no, try this. Stop doing what you know to be wrong. Stop today. Don't waste time asking how you know that what you're doing is wrong. Inopportune questioning can confuse without enlightening and deflect you from action. You can know something is right or wrong without knowing why. Start paying attention. Do you procrastinate, show up late, spend money you don't have, and drink more than you should? It's not a matter of accepting some externally imposed morality. It's a dialogue with your own conscience. What are you doing that's wrong from your own perspective? What could you put right, right now? Get to work on time. Stop interrupting people. Make peace with your siblings and your parents. Diligently utilize everything you already have at hand. If you do those things, your life will improve. You'll become more peaceful, productive, and desirable. After some days or weeks or months of attentive effort, your mind will clear. Your life will become less tragic, and you'll become more confident. You'll start seeing right from wrong more clearly.